Good morning, guys. Today we are prepping all of our food for tomorrow, which is Resurrection, Resurrection Sunday. So I hope you all are gonna come along and see how we do this to make it easier for tomorrow so we can just have time together and not worry about all the food type stuff. So we have a helper here on the counter. Are you the helper? No, I'm not. <laughs> You're not? We're gonna take potatoes and put them into this boiled pan. So she's taking the potatoes and putting them in. Thank you for being a good helper. So we have the two hams here and we're gonna get those ready for the oven. Okay, so I have some eggs in here and then I have some other eggs in here. I ended up buying um, just the white cheap eggs. So I'm gonna take these and we'll put them all together and then I'm going to prep some natural type dyes for the kids. What are you making? I'm making this white. My egg was white. One of my eggs are white, so I asked my mom to uh, to put it in there. And so I'm gonna put them pink. I'm gonna put them pink. I'm going to that. So the yellow mm -hmm. is with turmeric. So it has turmeric. Um, it was boiling water and a little bit of vinegar. We have some that are um, blueberries. I have some that are hibiscus. And I don't see any beets. Maybe this one. That's my pink. So it's just whatever they will eat a lot of these um tomorrow morning probably for breakfast and then i'll end up making the rest into um double eggs so she wants to help so she's opening this ham i'm gonna put it in here thank you and then these two are all set for i'm going to make a cream sauce so, yeah. <sighs> okay, I'm just holding the camera. That's all I've been doing is just holding the camera over the past couple days because it takes a really long time to set up any system. And even if I do, half the time my phone falls into whatever I am trying to cook or however I'm trying to set it up. So, eventually, maybe I'll figure out some systems. I wish I could go into a store and just try out different things, but I can't. We don't live any place that I would be able to do that. So I keep buying things on Amazon, spending my money for things that don't work, and it's quite frustrating. So I'm standing over my stove. Oh, sorry, if you guys have not been here before, I have had some serious camera dilemma dilemmas in my life. I am looking for a stand that can clip my countertops are more than an inch wide. So I have a clip that is, or I have a, a screw thing that makes different angles that um, doesn't do over an inch. So, and everything that I have is over an inch. I'm trying to get like above shot angles into what I'm eating. Like right now, I'm standing in front of my big wood stove, wood stove, propane stove, and I'm trying to show you a cream sauce that I'm making, but I can't do that very effectively if I have to hold, I need to stir the pan, hold the camera, and show you down in the pot. So let's show you anyway. All right, I just got two sticks of butter in here. I'm gonna turn this on and let this melt down. So I got some onions in here sauteing. I'm just gonna wait until these are soft. Alrighty, so here we have them. They're all softened. I'm going to add some arrowroot powder. You could use cornstarch. You could use flour, whatever you're going to use. I'm thinking maybe half to three quarters of a cup of that. And then I'm going to add a quart of chicken broth. wait a couple minutes for this to thicken up. Okay, so this is thickened up quite a bit here. 
Alrighty, so this is nice and thick. I'm gonna throw a bunch of salt in. Grab some pepper. And I got some milk. So I am going to grate this cheese here. Okay, so here's the two plates of cheese. I am going to dump this. Do you want to grab the other one? All right, over here into our pan. I'm going to see if we need one or two. I'm going to stir it in. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the one in um, and let that melt down and then um, top both of them with cheese after. So let's let this thicken up. Okay, this has thickened up a little bit, but I still want it a little bit kind of runny because I'm going to be baking this for a long time and because the potatoes are raw. If your potatoes are already cooked and you're doing this as a leftover meal, make sure you th like cook it longer so it would be thicker up and then do it. But I have raw potatoes and they're gonna absorb some of the moisture. Okay, so that made enough for one and not the other. I gotta make some more to do this one here. But I'm just gonna take this and then I am going to top this with a little bit of cheese. And then I'm gonna cook it for about, I'm gonna cover this and then I'll cook it for about half an hour, which is not gonna make it be all the way done. Um, but it's gonna be partially cooked. So on tomorrow, Sunday, I'll be able to put it in for the last half an hour and it will be done. So my daughter made these two trays. One has ranch dip and then the other one has a dill dip. She's gonna wrap these up and we'll just throw them in the fridge. Okay, so now it's all melted here. It's hard to see. See if it will, there we go. Um, and I am just going to add, I'm making it like a roux. So I'm gonna add arrowroot powder. You could add cornstarch, you could add flour, whatever you're gonna do. Um, I'm gonna do about a cup of that. So I made a little bit more, and so I made enough to um, fill this other one, but then I decided to make a little bit extra so that I could make some creamy broccoli. So I'm gonna do, this right here is just the leftover, has the onions, and it's like the root. Okay, so this just has um, the cream sauce over it with the cheese and the broccoli. Now this doesn't look as creamy um, or like as deep as over here. So these ones are raw potatoes in there. So you want the extra liquid because it's gonna absorb the um, liquid. But these right here are frozen, so they're gonna actually produce liquid when they cook. So you can have a lot less because it's going to produce the liquid. So I'm gonna have it like this. I'm gonna to top it with the rest of this little bit of cheese and cover it over with some aluminum foil. I'm gonna leave these ones for tomorrow, but those two I'm gonna half cook. Okay, so just to make it a little bit easier, I cooked my Brussels sprouts right here, and then I will actually chop, I'm gonna drain these and put them back in this pot, and then I'll put like two huge onions on top of that. And then tomorrow, all we'll really need to do, we like to like stir fry them. So tomorrow, instead of having to wait a longer time, we'll just be able to put coconut oil and garlic and salt in and stir fry that up and it will come together really quick. So I just cut the onions here and then I'm gonna, I strained the Brussels sprouts and I'm gonna put them on top here. Tomorrow, I'll just cook them right here on this. Obviously there's flour and stuff on it, but I'll wash it obviously. Um, and I'll cook them on top of the griddle tomorrow. I'll just like dump out this pot and then cook them in some oil. So here's the two hams. I'm gonna put the glaze over them and then put them uncovered for five minutes in the oven. And then I'll put them into a dish and then cover that over with aluminum foil. These smell so yummy. So we're gonna take everything off the bone and we're gonna take the cut pieces onto something that can go in the oven and cover it over. Um, I'll take some of this juice stuff and make a gravy with it. And then what I'll do tomorrow during the day is I'll take the two ham bones 
there should be two ham bones in there and I will take those and I will just have them cooking probably on the wood stove for most of the day um, to make a huge split pea soup for Monday. So that is going to be about it for the prep work and tomorrow we'll just throw everything. It will all just be ready to go like into the oven. And yeah, my daughter, she made a peanut butter pie and then a cheesecake. And then we made some other snacks for the week. We have these gluten-free bars and then I made yogurt bars. I think I'm going to put the yogurt bars as a short for you guys. And then I'm trying to think. And then like what our total dinner ends up being, I'll just maybe do a short on that if you want to see everything that we eat for Resurrection Sunday. So I hope you all have a blessed weekend.